Hello and welcome to lesson number seven of Fuzhouni's dialect. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to tell time. First, we're going to learn different ways that you can ask someone what time is it, and then we are going to learn how to answer the really basic ones, such as it's one o'clock, two o'clock, and such. Okay, let's get started. Before we start, let's review the numbers one to twelve because these are the numbers that we will be using in this lesson. So let's review them together. Ready? Eight, nine, seven, six, five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, seven, eight. Remember, in number six, we talk about how there's a、uh, different ways to say the number one and two, and for telling time, we are going to use that. Special pronunciation rather than the initial way that we learned how to pronounce it. So instead of say a and nay, we are going to say shuo and nan. One interesting thing you will notice is that there is going to be a slight pronunciation change when we're trying to say one o'clock. I will explain more when we get to that part. So now let's begin with the ways you can ask what time is it. Okay, so the first one we're going to go over is what time is it? Gui lei na, gui lei na, gui lei na. And the second way you can ask is zi yong gui lei na. As you might have noticed, instead of just saying gui lei na in the front, we add zi yong. Zi yong means now. So this question is, what time is it now? It might seem redundant in terms of the English grammar, but that's how we say it in real life. Sometimes we add that now, so we make sure that we add we are talking about the present. So what time is it now? Zi yong gui lei na. Lastly, you might hear people ask, "Do you know what time it is?" And the way you can ask that is, "Ni an me bai gui lei na." Which means, "Nu ame bai." Do you know? Gui lei na. What time is it? As we've initially learned. Now you can also ask, "Nu ame bai zi yong gui lei na." Do you know now what time it is? Now let's review all of them without my explanation. So the first one, "What time is it?" Gui lei na. What time is it now? Zi yong gui lei na. Do you know what time it is? Nu an me bai gui lei na. Or you can also ask, Do you know what time is it now? Nu an me bai zi yong gui lei na. Okay, so how do we answer this question? To answer this question, it's very similar to English. You can say it is one o'clock, or you can just say one o'clock without that it is. So as far as I know, if you wanna say it is, you kinda need to add now. So you have to say, let's say we want to say it is one o'clock, then you say, "Zium soleng na." So we don't have that it is. Instead of having it is, we have now one o'clock. So "Zium soleng na." Now it's one o'clock. That's pretty much what it's saying. If you prefer, you could just say "Sole na one o'clock." Remember, in the beginning, I mentioned you can say one as in eight, or you can say one as in shuo. But now you notice how I say one o'clock, "Sole na shuo." So it's not eight, it's not shuo, it's shuo. It's very close to the shuo, but the sound changes slightly. As a reason, again, I'm not quite sure why there's a little sound change here and there. So I guess that would make it three different pronunciations for one, if that makes it easier to remember. But don't worry, for dialect learning, it's a lot to just practice speaking and listening, and eventually you will get it. So just relax, sit back, and let's continue with our lesson. So now we know how to say it's one o'clock, which is "zium sole na." Or you can also say one o'clock, which is "sole na." Or if you prefer, you can just say "sole," which means one o'clock. For some reason, I add that "sole na." I add that now to the end. I'm not quite sure why. 
We talk more about that in a different time, not now. Okay, so let's continue with our lesson. So the two special numbers we mentioned are one and two. There is a slight sound change for one, but there's no sound change for two. So the special sound that we learn is nan. So to say two o'clock, you say nan ning, nan nan ning. I guess you could see there's a small tone change. So two o'clock nan ning. Now it's two o'clock. Jiu nan ning now. I add that now in the end again. It just sounds more natural when you have that now in the end. I'm not quite sure what it means or if it even means anything. So just stick with me for now. And if I find the answer, I will let you know. Okay, now, how do we say twelve o'clock? Remember, the only two special numbers that have different sounds are one and two. So twelve is the way how we say it regularly, which is. Say ni leng, twelve o'clock. Say ni leng. How do you say it's twelve o'clock now? Jiong say ni leng now. And what about six o'clock? How do you say six o'clock? Again, six only has one pronunciation, so it is night. And then how do you say clock? Ding. So night ding, six o'clock. And let's go over all the numbers from one o'clock to twelve o'clock. Ready? Soling, nanling, sanling, siling, muling, nuiting, qiting, beiting, gaoling, seiting, seiting, seniling. Okay, so this is just a basic introduction to telling time. We will learn more about telling time in the future lessons. If you have any questions about this lesson, remember to leave it in the comment section below. See you and have fun! Bye.